So you remember in last video, I was like, oh, the weather's been beautiful for three days. Well, we got the punishment. Uh, lots of 15 to 20 knot winds. I'm gonna do some bridge jigging, man. Uh, I need somewhere convenient in case I gotta pull the plug because of the weather. I'm gonna push the end of the incoming and start of the outgoing. So let's see what we can do. All right, where I'm sitting, the current's screaming. So gotta get into a location where it's not too crazy. All right, guys, I haven't seen much signs of life with artificial tides moving pretty good so what I want to do is kind of get myself up into the, the bridge eddies here and slap some fiddler crabs down right there um, just kind of work them all see what we get as the tide slows down which should be pretty soon I can go down to some lighter jigs but since the tides ripping I'm gonna start with a three-quarter ounce jig here uh, I'll pick apart anywhere from 20 feet 30 feet and we'll bounce around probably everything honestly so Oh, what a light hit. Good fish, too. He just tapped it really light. Oh, man. What do we got here? Dude, you're going into some current, man. Let me organize myself here a little bit. It's raining on me. It's blowing 20, 15 to 20. It's really a great experience, huh? Red, nice. Oh, for sure, I would see a black drum there. That's a good red drum. Huh? Oh. Should be a few of these guys around in all the bridge pilings, probably. Oh. Man, that current's moving almost two knots right now. All right, guys, got a red drum here. Three quarter ounce sweeper jig. Uh, a couple fiddler crabs on it. If the conditions were a little better, I guess I could have a pretty decent bite. Uh, this is definitely a low 30 inch fish, 31, 32, something like that. But he's a great, great fish to catch. A little bit of a snarly snaggle tooth lip there. Okay, let's get him out of here. Man, this weather's got to just move on, man. Got on the corner. It's a sheep's egg. Mm -mm -mm. Little pork chop size, man. All right, getting a little bit of a bite. I'm not setting the world on fire out here, but. I'm glad I'm catching something. That's probably like a 12, 13 incher, but we can put them back for another day. I'm putting two crabs on one hook because they're kind of small, these fiddlers. I bought these at the tackle shop, Intracoastal Angler here. Um, I usually try to get the bigger ones when I go for them myself, but uh, just the weather hasn't been, weather hasn't been good. The tides haven't been matching up with much of my time off, so. All right, that one don't look very good. If you, you, you uh, fish much, you know, some of these things look, you know, real menacing. Uh, this one in particular, it looks like it's going to be short and sweet. So I don't know if we're going to go home and fish by the house where we're just going to um, get some shelter and wait this one out. It's a good question. Okay, the one thing I don't mess with is the cold breeze on the hot day. So it's just got that cold breeze. All right, we waited out that cell. Unfortunately, it brought a pretty heavy wind shift, making the place kind of nasty. So let's see what we can do here real quick on the wind shift. What's the verdict? Oh, did a black drum. Little guy. Definitely not what I had in mind. 
So we got here. Big. Oh, some small gag grouper. GAG. Not too rare inshore, but still kind of cool. You don't get big ones here on the Carolinas inshore. Uh, it's definitely more of a Florida thing. decent one. Pretty nice one. Scrap one more black drum. Um, water's getting really cloudy now on the outgoing. A lot of wind, uh, one red drum, a couple small sheep said. Very weird day of weather. That wind shift was pretty uh, terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. So at least uh, I, think, I think for the rest of the day, I'm kind of on track. Much, much cleaner water to fish. Um, not a great spot where we're gonna fish for little afternoon delight but got some much better water here so this is gonna be the move it's a lot of mullet here too huh? all right we made a move closer to the house uh, we're fishing some docks uh, water's a little bit clearer here so what happened in that last spot uh, for that wind turned and why did I end up leaving that wind turned and we started getting the trickling of the outgoing uh, it was really stirred up. That's no good. Drum are fine with that. Sheep's head, eh, I'm not a big fan of trying to get those dirty water sheep's head. Flounder season's closed, so first on flounder inshore escapade of the fall. Uh, found some a little bit better looking water and uh, we'll start dropping some crabs on the docks. Drum. Nice. Always a welcome sign. My playbook. Little drum action. Seeing more of these today than we do. I mean, I haven't targeted them much since, uh, you know, since the under open for any of this stuff very much. Uh, size ain't bad today, man. Look at that. To get away from those pinfish. Okay. Look at that pretty fish. They are pretty. Pull pretty good too, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a little black drum. They use those little barbels there to, to feel for their, their meals. Oh, -ho. check that out, guys. The burfish. Pretty cool fish here, huh? <laughs> kind of a porcupine. These things are pretty sharp, so I wouldn't touch them. 
All right, guys, I'm wrapping this up. Uh, one of the tougher days I've had in a while, but we'll be back in the ocean in a couple days, it looks like, so I can't complain about that. Um, so I tried my best, fish those fiddler crabs. They seem to work just fine if you know where the fish are. They're kind of hard to search with, though, in my opinion, because they really attract pinfish and small black sea bass. So uh, in terms of like my structure baits, they're one of my least, for those little fiddlers, those bigger fiddlers are much better. Uh, the little fiddlers just, they attract too much junk, so it's pretty hard to fish with them. So uh, check the video's description, links, everything we used. Thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed still.